Jeffrey Epstein. I think everybody knows who Jeffrey Epstein is. Jeffrey Epstein is a, a, a centimillionaire who uh, died in prison, supposedly from suicide, about a year ago after being arrested for, as a pedophile and, a, and, and uh, basically somebody who ran a, a ring, a pedophilia ring, you know, uh, uh, young girls anywhere from age 14 to 17, uh, sexually harassed, some cases raped, and then prostituted out to a variety of his friends and his associates. Um, there are those who randomly claim he worked for the Mossad. Proof? Evidence? No, but no, nobody, nobody needs proof or evidence when you listen to Alex Jones. Alex Jones said this guy worked for the Mossad, therefore he must have worked for the Mossad. You know, reality is much messier than conspiracy theories would like us to have. It's much more corrupt. It's much more disgusting. It's much uglier than conspiracy theories would actually have us have it. Jepsi Epstein, it looks like, conned uh, Wexler, who, who, who is a billionaire, out of a lot of money, probably, you know, You know, I don't want to say anything about Wexler that, 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 that <laughs> might get me into trouble, but I wouldn't be surprised if Wexler was involved in some of the sex stuff that was going on. Uh, he was an older man. He was you know, probably bored and running Victoria's Secrets, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Jeff Epstein showed him how to have a good time and, as a consequence, landed with a lot of money. He was not a matchmaker. He was a child molester. And he had it as, among his friends, uh, women who helped him. And uh, Giselle Maxwell is the primary one, his madame, who brought him young girls and who helped him molest them and in some cases raped them. He helped pimp them out to people. And the thing about Epstein that makes this more than just, okay, well, you know, there are bad people out there. We all know that. He's a criminal. He got his due. He, he died in jail, as it should be. I wish he'd gone to trial and died slowly. I think he got off too easy. But the thing that makes this scandal, this crime, truly disgusting, on a different plane, on a different plane. Did Jeffrey really have sex with him? I need some evidence. Well, there are dozens of witnesses that say yes. And we're talking about young girls. We're talking about young girls that he put in positions where he raped, sexually molested them. Yes. Now, we'll see. Tons of evidence are going to come out. Um, with the trial of Giselle and with the many civil lawsuits. And, and one of the reasons this is back in the news is that one of the civil lawsuits, the judge has just uh, basically unlocked all the files, all the cross-examinations, all the discovery, what's called discovery in the law, that surrounds this, all the files, all of the accuser's testimony is now out there. And you can go for, read it. Now, you might find the accusers unreliable. You might claim she's making it stuff. That's what Alan Dershowitz is saying. Because he is accused of having sex with one of them. But, so he's claiming, of course, she's lying. But what else would he claim? So we will see. There's going to be a court. There's going to be a day in court. She'll either plead guilty and cooperate and spill the beans to prosecutors. Or she will actually go to court and we'll see a cross-examination, or she will die mysteriously in jail. And her name is Ghislaine, not Giselle, sorry, Ghislaine. But these are, so yes, Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine were disgusting people. So what? Why make a big deal out of this? The reason this is worth, newsworthy is not just what they did. It's who their friends were. I mean, they're friends with the high society of New York. Many of the wealthy, many of the well-connected, 
many politicians, many high, you know, placed lawyers, even scientists from MIT, the elites of this country, many of them were friends of Jeffrey Epstein, even after he was prosecuted for soliciting a child for sex in Florida. They continued to be his friends. Of course, royalty, Prince Andrew from the UK. They flew in a plane known as the Lolita Express. Now, this isn't some secret. It was called the Lolita Express. In, you know, not openly, obviously, but people knew. Uh, Jeffy Epstein's island in the U.S. Virgin Islands was called Pedophile Island by the locals. Like, everybody knew what was going on. And, of course, the reason it's in the news now is because part of uh, what was revealed when they opened up these documents from the civil case is that the woman who accuses, uh, who's accusing Jeffrey Epstein of molesting her, it also tells a story about other people who are on this pedophile island, and one of those was Bill Clinton, with two young women from New York. Now, of course, he's denied it. But there are other reports, I think um, Gawker uh, had reported, that he had been, uh, that, that Clinton had been on the Lolita Express, on Jeffrey Epstein's private plane, something like 12 or 14 times have traveled around. So, this is something that affects many people. And what's truly shocking is that very few people seem to care. Well, Frank knows that Alan Dershowitz is innocent. I guess Frank knows. He has insight into Alan Dershowitz's life and insight into all of this. How do we know Alan Dershowitz is innocent? How do we know any of these guys are innocent? Maybe they're innocent. I don't know. But I guess innocent until proven guilty. But there's certainly evidence to suggest that he's not. Evidence is not conclusive. But at least some people are accusing him. Why Alan Dershowitz? Well, why would they accuse Alan? Well, maybe because he defended Jeffrey Epstein and some of these women want to get back at him. Maybe. Maybe. But the point is that this is affecting the elite of New York society and many within American society. And the question is, where are the feminists? Where is the Me Too movement? Where are all the people who jump up when a celebrity makes an accusation against somebody or against a Supreme Court judge? Why, is, why are these women not to be believed about Bill Clinton and Alan Dershowitz? But the woman who accused um, Kavanaugh is to be believed. Where are all the women who started a movement called Me Too? This is worth, worse than Me Too. This is not just have sex with me to get a promotion and the woman in most cases can walk out. This is taking 14-year-old girls and molesting them. You'd think that women in this country, that the Me Too movement in this country, that the left in this country, and the right, where the conservatives, where the evangelicals, where is the outrage that there is silence from these people? Why did it take a year to arrest Jezelaine Maxwell? Why is Prince Andrew not being required Why haven't we formally asked for him to be interviewed by the FBI and force the hand of the British government one way or the other? Why haven't all these foo-foo people and the dozens and dozens of them, we've got their names and their photographs with Jeffrey Epstein at parties and all these places, including, by the way, Donald Trump, who in some magazine said, yeah, that Jeffrey Epstein is a cool guy, and he's always got these very, very young girls around him, as if it's just fun. I 
I think 14 is too young, Stephanie. Still 16 for a 40 year old man. And these typically were women who were picked up in poor neighborhoods. I mean, not women, sorry, girls. Young girls picked up in poor neighborhoods. Somebody said it's the parents' fault, who might not have active parents. And these girls were bringing money home. But these are young girls. This is what we have a government to protect, children. And as long as we have an age of consent, and it's one thing if two teenagers are having sex, who cares? But when older men exploit young girls, the state has an issue. The state needs to protect them. So it's shocking, it's shocking that there is no real uproar, that nobody is held to account, that the fufu crowd in New York just goes about their business without fearing. Well, maybe now they're fearing. I hope they're fearing. I hope they're really, really nervous. I really hope the best outcome I think possible of this is that Jeslin cuts a deal with the government, gets, I don't know, 10 years in jail or something, or five years in jail, or whatever, and then spills the beans, spills the beans on all of them, and then writes a book. Because these people, these people should, if they slept with young girls, should go to jail, and they should be shamed if they did. And if they associated and continued to associate with Jeffrey Epstein knowing what he was doing. I mean, he had three homes in New York, in, the, in, the, in the, an island in the Virgin Islands, and a whole ranch out in New Mexico where this activity was going on. Hundreds of people must have known. According to the testimonies, orgies were happening on a regular basis, again, with young girls. You know, Andrew asked, if Epstein was attracted to teenagers, why wouldn't he just recruit 18-year-olds who look young? Why risk having sex with minors? Because that's the thrill of the game. Now, I don't know that, but that's what I would guess. It gets boring just to sleep with random 18-year-olds. Part of the thrill is that it's wrong. Part of the thrill is that it's illegal. Part of the thrill is the corrupting influence you're having on these young women. The fact that you're destroying their lives. Right. I think when it comes to sex with older men who are prostituting them and... Uh, I'm not sure if 16 is, is uh, too young. I mean, it depends on the girl, of course. But the moral condemnation should still be there. And I think the legal condemnation, too. And certainly at 14. Again, if a 16-year-old girl sleeps with a 21-year-old because they're dating or something, who cares? But all the evidence suggests that he not only seduced them with money or paid them, but that he often molested them and raped them. A number of, uh, of testimonies of girls being molested by him, of him touching them. In circumstances where it wasn't, you know, where it wasn't very easy for them to escape or to say no. Don't give this guy a pass. He was a sick human being who used girls and who prostituted them to other sick men. And they're underage. And yeah, sure, you know, there are plenty of 16-year-olds who are adults and who are mature, but even they should not be sexually harassed even they should not be molested, and certainly even they should not be raped. But the whole thing is twisted and disgusting. And the fact that the Me Too movement is not aggressively demanding that the people associated with this be prosecuted is more, you know, it's not just hypocrisy, it's sheer evil and ugliness. 
They only get excited when it's an actress. And an actress who could have said no and walked out in many cases, not to justify the guy. But in many cases, the, the Me Too involved women who could have just slapped the guy in the face and walked out. This is not the case. And mature women, older women. These are young women, in some cases children. And I think it's despicable that there's not a bigger deal made of this. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. It, all it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support, or on Patreon, or Subscribestar, or Locals, uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value, hopefully, you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.